lot of Celtic tunes are played with this tuning and it gives it more of an open sound. So the notes are D, A, D, G, A, D. And that's why it's called Dad Gad. So the three chords you'll need for the reel that I'm teaching on Friday are G, D, and F. So the nice thing, it's uh, D is ridiculously easy. You just have to cover the G string, which is this third one. So put your second finger on the third string and that's your D chord. It's literally at one finger. So there's D. G, you're gonna put your second finger on, actually let's, I think this makes a little, it doesn't really matter what fingers you use. It's more comfortable for me to put my second finger on the second on the fifth string and my third finger on the second string. There's G. E, D. works better to use the first finger, you can. Then your second finger doesn't have to move so much. Okay? The F chord is a little bit funky, but it's basically just the way you would play D if you were in the normal tuning, except you're gonna move, so if D is, uh, sorry, D7, it would be like D7, but moved up a string, and then your first and second fingers are moved over a string. So my third finger is on the first string, third fret. My first finger is on the third string, second fret. And my second finger is on the fourth string, third fret. And then I'm not gonna play the bottom two strings. I'm just gonna play these. Four, four, there's F. So it's kind of, the tricky transition is to go from, uh, that's probably a good reason to use your second finger and third finger for the G chord, because then it's uh, it's an easy move to F. They're the same distance apart. G is here, F, F is here, G is here, F is here. So that's the hard transition G to F, okay? Once you can get that transition, you should be totally ready for Friday. See you soon.